Tonight at 5, a Clark County judge throws the book at a teacher who had sex with his student. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen, the judge hoping it sends a strong message to other local teachers. Jordan Burgess reveals that sentence in our top story at 5. Former teacher Anthony Parker's shock only grows as each sentence is read and his time in prison piles up. But the victim's stepmother says he should already know what it's like to have years taken away. He has stolen some of the best times in her life by manipulating her and to believing that he was in love with her and that they were going to be together. Instead, the former Northeastern Social Studies teacher said a brief goodbye to family and friends before being hauled away in handcuffs from the Clark County Common Pleas Court. Parker was sentenced this morning to 15 years in prison. The husband and father of two pleaded guilty last month to four counts of sexual battery involving a 16-year-old student. Teachers are in a position of power and authority. Our community has been violated far too often by recent offenders like Mr. Parker. The 15-year sentence came despite Parker's pleas and his apology to the victim's family. If I were intended to disrupt the lives of this man, I just hope and pray that they'll be able to put this behind them and return to a sense of normalcy. But the prosecutor told the judge he was worried about the victim waiting out Parker's sentence so they could be together. That's why despite objections from the defense, the prosecutor read a series of personal messages Parker and the victim sent back and forth while chatting on the computer. Some of the stuff was going on in school during class while he was being paid with our tax dollars. In the end, the judge said he wanted to make sure others wouldn't follow Parker's path. And I don't want any other teachers in this community to think they can engage in this behavior and walk away with a light sentence. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.